August 24, 2022, Feast of St. Bartholomew Apostle, Saint of the Day, St. Bartholomew. Today's readings. First reading. A reading from the book of Revelation. One of the seven angels that had the seven balls, full of the seven final plagues, came to speak to me and said, Come here and I will show you the bride that the Lamb has married. In the spirit, he carried me to the top of a very high mountain and showed me Jerusalem, the holy city, coming down out of heaven from God. It had all the glory of God and glittered like some precious jewel of crystal clear diamond. Its wall was of a great height and had twelve gates. At each of the twelve gates there was an angel, and over the gates were written the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. On the east there were three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. The city walls stood on twelve foundation stones, each one of which bore the name of one of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, From Nazareth, can anything good come from that place? Philip replied, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said of him, There, truly, is an Israelite in whom there is no deception. Nathanael asked, How do you know me? Jesus replied, Before Philip came to call you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus replied, You believe that just because I said, I saw you under the fig tree. You are going to see greater things than that. And then he added, In all truth, I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending over the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection Today, Mother Church celebrates the feast of St. Bartholomew, the Apostle. He is referred as Nathaniel in the Gospel according to St. John. 
When Philip calls him and tells him about the discovery of a Messiah, Nathaniel tells Philip, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Both of them were well versed about the coming of Messiah and what was told about Messiah by Moses and other prophets. Nathaniel is straightforward. He does not keep anything in his heart. He clearly tells what he feels. Jesus identifies him as a true child of Israel, a man without guile. Jesus is all-knowing Messiah. He knows even the most inner thoughts of our hearts. He befriends only those whose heart is pure, and only they can see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That's why Nathaniel immediately recognizes Jesus and proclaims, You are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. People may call us good person. They may see goodness in us, but only authority who can truly tell about our goodness is the one who knows our inmost. It is great privilege to be called by Jesus, a man without guile. Let us pray to St. Bartholomew to help us to become people of your heart so that we can see God.